Welcome back! Today we've got some exciting news from Goshen High Tech, one of China's top battery makers. They claim to have made a significant breakthrough in electric vehicle battery technology that could revolutionize the industry. Join us as we delve into the details of Goshen's latest innovation and its potential impact on the future of electric mobility. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content. Goshen High Tech Co. recently unveiled the Lithium Iron Manganese Phosphate Battery (LMFP) for short, which it says will power an EV for 1,000 km or 621 miles on each charge. Until now, primarily the more expensive nickel cobalt batteries have provided that range. It's an upgrade, it's a leap for energy density, Cheng Chan, executive president at Goshen, exclaimed while describing his innovation. First, let's take a look at the company and its history of LMFP. Goshen High Tech Co. is a prominent battery research and development company as well as an energy solutions provider. This company, headquartered in China, has made its presence felt globally, with significant operations in Silicon Valley and other parts of the world. They are known for their expertise in a wide range of battery chemistries, catering to diverse applications within and beyond the automotive industry. One particular battery chemistry that has garnered much attention is Goshen's lithium iron phosphate battery. For the last decade, Goshen has worked on perfecting LMFP batteries in an effort to increase the energy density of LFP batteries, and there were even rumors at one point that Tesla, a well-known electric vehicle manufacturer, might collaborate with Goshen to establish a factory in the United States. Now, the automotive industry has witnessed the success of lithium iron phosphate chemistry in reducing costs for EV manufacturers. Goshen's innovation builds upon this foundation by incorporating manganese into the LFP chemistry. By doing so, Goshen has achieved higher energy density, enabling smaller and more efficient battery packs. According to Goshen, its new battery can reach an energy density of 240 watt-hours per kilogram. As a point of reference, Goshen reports that the maximum energy density of today's LFP batteries is about 190 watt-hours per kilogram. This might be a significant step forward for electric vehicles. In addition, according to Cheng Qian, the firm anticipates that their new LMFP battery, which is currently being referred to as Astroino, would cost 5% less than a traditional LFP cell in terms of dollars per kilowatt hours. This ratio also leads to LMFP batteries being roughly 20-25% to less costly than cells using nickel-manganese cobalt chemistry, or NMC chemistry, the more standard batteries to deliver such EV range these days. LMFP batteries are also more environmentally friendly than NMC cells. The idea of LMFP batteries has been around for quite some time. Still, limitations in the technology such as poor conductivity and low energy density have prevented its widespread use in EVs. However, Goshen thinks that its new batteries have gained performance parity with NMC cells, but at a cheaper cost and safer while still maintaining the same level of performance. The production is a bit far, but Goshen has disclosed that it anticipates Astroino LMFP to start mass producing as early as the second quarter of 2024 at two of the company's plants in the province of Anhui, China. Chen claims that they have already been found safe after the requisite safety checks. Goshen's LMFP battery presents a paradigm shift in the EV battery market. Not only does it offer superior performance and affordability, but it also enhances safety standards. With the potential for significant savings and improved safety, Goshen anticipates that many car makers will follow this trend, making LMFP batteries increasingly popular in the coming years. The new battery is said to address and overcome significant challenges conventional battery systems pose. Astroino's battery pack, as reported by Goshen High Tech, makes use of a minimalist design approach and liquid cooling techniques on both sides of sandwich construction. The concept cuts the total number of structural components used in the battery pack by almost 45% while simultaneously reducing the weight of those components by approximately 32%. As mentioned by Cheng, one of the key advantages of Astroino is its ability to charge rapidly, taking just a little over 15 minutes. During this time, users can take a short break at the charging station, enjoy a cup of coffee, and witness the battery charge from 10% to 80% using step charging methodology. Automaker's constant evolution and unpredictability of battery technology and raw material requirements are evident as they strive to reduce costs while enhancing the performance of electric vehicles. Moreover, these advancements highlight the pioneering efforts of Chinese companies in this field. 
While Goshen's LMFP battery showcases great potential, challenges remain as the technology progresses towards mass production. Although LMFP batteries are not new, previous technical limitations related to energy density and cycle life prevented them from gaining widespread adoption. Therefore, industry experts eagerly await real-world testing and performance data to confirm Goshen's claims. Additionally, the availability and cost of raw materials required for LMFP batteries may impact their scalability and affordability. Dr. Cheng says that Goshen High Tech has fixed the problems of manganese dissolving at extreme temperatures, low conductivity and low compression density by using co-participation doping capsule technology, new granulation technology and new electrolyte additives. Victoria Hugill, a battery research analyst at London-based consultancy Row Motion, believes that Goshen's manganese-added cells provide a genuine opportunity to compete with NCM chemistries, where standard LFP batteries struggle regarding energy density. Hugill predicts that LMFP could capture a 6% market share by 2040, potentially surpassing emerging options like sodium-ion batteries. Goshen has been expanding its presence overseas, including plans for a battery plant in Michigan and a global depository receipts offering in Switzerland last year. According to SNE Research, the company ranked as the world's eighth largest battery manufacturer the previous year. Astroino joins a series of notable battery innovations introduced by Chinese companies in recent years. For instance, BYD unveiled its Blade battery in 2020, which featured a sleeker shape and improved energy density while using LFP chemistry. Meanwhile, Contemporary Amperex Technology Co. Ltd. is developing a condensed state battery. On May 10th, Goshen made an exciting announcement. They revealed that they had secured a new contract to become Volkswagen's primary supplier of advanced battery cells designed explicitly for cobalt-free and unified LFP cells. This partnership extends beyond China and encompasses all of Volkswagen's electric vehicle series. While the exact number of batteries to be manufactured under this contract remains undisclosed, it signifies a significant development for both companies. About a year ago, Goshen and Volkswagen initiated a pilot agreement. Their objective was to produce high-energy battery cells containing nickel and cost-effective LFP cells primarily for the Chinese market. During a recent investor update, Goshen shared that they are progressing and will be prepared to commence deliveries to Volkswagen in the first half of 2024. These deliveries will be specifically tailored to vehicles built on Volkswagen's Scalable Systems platform, which serves as their cutting-edge platform for smart electric cars. It's worth noting that Volkswagen holds the largest share of ownership in Goshen, having invested $1.2 billion in the company in 2020. Currently ranked as China's fourth largest battery manufacturer, Goshen has an impressive battery shipment volume of 14.1 gigawatt hours last year. This figure places them behind CATL, BYD, and CALB. The collaboration between Goshen and Volkswagen further solidifies their positions in the electric vehicle industry. In an exciting development, Morocco's government and Goshen High Tech have come together to explore the possibility of establishing an electric vehicle battery plant within the kingdom. This ambitious venture has the potential to attract a staggering investment of up to $6.3 billion, as confirmed by Morocco's investment agency, Amdai. While specific timelines for the final decision on the plant have not been disclosed, the parties involved are currently considering the establishment of a factory boasting an impressive production capacity of 100 gigawatt hours. Morocco has consistently positioned itself as an ideal destination for large-scale EV battery factories, leveraging its well-established automotive and renewable energy sectors. Moreover, essential resources like cobalt and phosphate further enhance its attractiveness. The kingdom already houses production plants for renowned automotive manufacturers, such as Renault and Stellantis, collectively capable of producing 700,000 vehicles. Now, the most exciting news comes in a recent podcast interview with The Driven. Technology researcher Tony Seba discussed the exciting possibilities that arise from combining on-demand transport services like Uber and Lyft with electric vehicles' autonomy and long-lasting nature. According to Seba, this convergence will pave the way for a revolutionary concept known as Transportation as a Service (TAAS), completely transforming the future of transportation. Seba predicts that the vehicle cost per mile will drastically decrease once Level 4 autonomous technology is perfected and approved by regulators and merges with on-demand electric transportation. In fact, it is expected to plummet by a factor of 10 to 20. 
Even if gasoline automakers were to give away their cars for free, owning a car would still be significantly higher than utilizing transport as a service. Owning a car would become increasingly impractical for people struggling to make ends meet. The convergence of electric vehicle longevity and autonomy will lead to a remarkable 75% decrease in the global automotive market, which currently consists of approximately 70 million units. He envisions this transformative shift occurring by the year 2030. Gorging the range claims of battery companies can be pretty challenging, especially when the cells haven't been integrated into a vehicle yet. However, if there are sufficient LMFP battery cells on board, it's possible that a massive EV platform could achieve a distance of 621 miles. The key factor here is the footprint, which plays a crucial role. Nevertheless, the energy density shows promise, mainly if Goshen can deliver performance that matches NMC cells while lowering costs. This aspect will ultimately determine the outcome. OEMs are unlikely to embrace the technology unless they receive improved specifications and safety features at a comparable price to their current cells. However, it's important to temper our excitement about the cost benefits of Goshen's LMFP batteries until they enter production. Between now and Q2 of next year, many things can happen in the market and supply chain that may affect the situation. While we hope all these breakthroughs come to fruition, the reality is not all of them will. Nevertheless, we're rooting for Goshen because their success would lead to more affordable EVs for everyone. As we wrap up today's discussion, it's clear that Goshen Hitech's breakthrough in LMFP battery technology holds immense promise for the automotive industry. We eagerly await the real-world impact of Goshen's innovation and hope to witness a new era of sustainable transportation. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to stay updated on the latest developments in the automotive world.